eggy spaghetti and in this video I am going to change your life. Okay, probably not in this video, but I can try anyways. So in the last two videos on the topic of sound art installations in Pure Data, I showed you how to play audio files, have them repeat, and then when they finish, maybe play a different sound file. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about speakers and amplifiers for when you're designing the installation, how you can play around with different options. So I have here with me a little mini amplifier and it's actually two objects in one. There is the amp circuit inside of here and then a speaker. So when I was younger, I thought an amp was an amp and they were all the same thing. They usually took the shape of this object, but that's not entirely true. So an amplifier is basically uh, electronic circuit, as I just mentioned, which will take a sound signal and amplify it, make it louder. And this was originally useful technology when we had these things called telephones and we wanted to talk to each other in different locations, we would use amplification to get that sound, our voices, over to the next house. I have a little slideshow, so let's jump into the computer and take a look at some options for designing a sound installation with some different amps and speakers. So the inspiration for this series was something like an installation that we can see here. By the way, it was the Janet Cardiff motet for 40 voices that we're looking at. And as you can see on the back of the speaker here, there's a black and red terminals. And so that's our hint that these are what they call passive speakers. And I'm going to show us what an active speaker looks like. So this is similar to what I was holding at the beginning of the video. This has an amp on it and we can see by the on and off switch and the volume down here, see how the pointer works, that this, this speaker series has an amp in it. And the problem with these for doing something like an installation is for starters, they usually cost more and they're heavier, but also we can't distribute the sound very well because this is more intended for, say, a smaller setup at home, doing some recording and that kind of thing. It can also be for watching movies. This is an amplifier which would be used for something like the installation that we're talking about. It only has two sound channels in it and in our project that we've been working with in Pure Data we've set it up for four channels. So someone would need a stack of two of these amplifiers to have four channels. So these are pretty good except um, they are fairly expensive as well. So you might be wondering, is there, are there any options that are going to help us get this project done? So this is what you would call a powered amplifier if you were searching for these in a, a music store and they, they can pump out a lot of, a lot of power, thousands of Watts. So this is the passive speaker that I was showing that was used in the in the installation, we can see by the terminals, these are speakers that don't have an amp in them. And an option for artists that are starting out is to use something like a car amplifier. Now I, I mentioned these because they can be cheaper and they also sometimes end up in say, a garbage dump or electronics recycling depot just by the nature of where they came from out of out of cars they can be stripped away so 
these are pretty good to look into because in our example we might want to try to play around with multiple channels of audio up to even eight depending on what our audio interface supports and we can use something like a car amplifier to send out signals to a passive speaker. Now these obviously look like really nice speakers. Again, you can find other types of speakers that are passive. So that was really good and everything, but we still don't even know how to set the volume in pure data. So in the next video, I'm going to show how the volume for the different sound channels can be sort of adjusted and even automated with a little bit of programming. And after that sound module, we are going to be taking a look at RGB LEDs, which make different colors happen. Okay, see you soon.